Blue Man's Cavalier Clay versus 40 Series Texture Clay. This is Brand Battle. I know we're not actually in a Brand Battle series at the moment, but I felt a little bit mischievous and thought I will do a Brand Battle with these two products. I know these two absolute powerhouses of YouTube are pretty good friends. Um, and I thought, this could be fun. Let's battle them out. It's also quite fun because they're actually products that are directly comparable. Products with what they say to be high hold and a natural um, sort of finish. So we are gonna see how these get on. Now, if you're new to this, you're wondering who I am. Hi, I'm Robin. This is Man From Self. If you're a guy that likes hair care, hair product reviews, brand battles, hair cuts, hair styling, fragrance, grooming, and skincare, then this is the place for you. Please do press subscribe right now. Now, there are 21 points up for grabs. We go through various categories and we give points for the best product. Into ingredients, they actually are quite similar. Firstly, with the Blue Man product, you have got Petrol Atom, um, Kira Arba, which is beeswax. Ciro, you've got bentonite. Bentonite is the type of clay. Tick for that. Um, hydrated castor oil, blah, 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 blah. Loads of other things. Um, for the 40 series, you don't have Petrol Atom, but you do have beeswax as the first uh, ingredient there. Then you've got castor seed oil, hydrated castor uh, oil, and bentonite. So really they are quite similar. Now, with the Blue Man product having petrolatum at the top, um, petrolatum is an occlusive, so it really does hold on to moisture, and it really is a bit more like a carrier for products. Um, there are, I mean, I'm not a scientist, let's be clear, but there is some sort of uh, reports and studies which say that actually having so much of it might not be the best. Um, but just because the ingredients seem cleaner and clearer, I'm giving the point to 40. Packaging and brand is another one that I don't like hugely get excited by because no one sees the packaging when it's in your hair. But they are actually really very different. The Blue Man one has stayed very true to its roots. It's always got an animal. It's got this zebra. I, I have no idea why it's a zebra, but they have a zebra because zebras love clay. Um, so we've got the zebra on the Blue Man, the sort of yellow, black, carpet, never looks that great. Versus the 41, which is clearer. It feels a little bit more uh, cleaner and premium, a bit more mature with the sort of frosted, pla still plastic though, frosted plastic with a black lid. Um, I prefer it, I think it looks nicer. Point two. 40. Another aesthetic, which I'm whizzing through these aesthetic things because we really want to get into the styling, don't we? Um, but when you are sort of smelling each of these products, the 40 series I said before in the review and the first impressions doesn't really smell like anything. It is clay. That's all really it is. Versus the Blue Man product, which still has that similar sort of clay-like quality, but it smells sweeter. And um, a lot of the Blue Man products, you'll know this if you know Blue Man, Blue Mon, Blue Mat, we're not getting into that. <laughs> you will know, I got into trouble last time, you will know that their products tend to smell like this, like really overly done mint, which I am not a huge fan of, but this actually is quite nice. So the point goes to Blue Mon. Now into the sort of points that matter, the actual performance of these products. Consistency is where you instantly start to see a difference in these products. Sure, they are both clays, but they feel totally different. They both have a slight waxy sort of feel to them. Once you get it in and you emulsify, you still feel that sort of wax. What I would say though is, the Cavalier Clay by Blue Mon is smoother, it's creamier, it's easier scooped. It feels less tough versus the 41, when which is actually sort of a, a tougher version of this. You've really got to scoop it out, really get it into your hands, really warm it up, and it actually is quite tough. And then with this sort of application, you do have the slightest, I mean, I say slightest, no, there is. There's definitely a tug with the 40. You've really got to kind of work it into the hair, whereas the Blue Mon product actually is easier. So I'm gonna give the points to Blue Mon. From that application into the styling, this is where you start to see these products really go apart and really start to see the difference. The 40 series texture clay is, um, <laughs> when you pull it up, your hair goes up and it stays up. When you push it down, it's likely to still be up. Um, 
it styles, it definitely styles, but it, it's thick and um, it's hard to work with versus, uh, I think it's quite an aggressive product in styling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that. Um, Robin James, man for himself, 40 series technically, an aggressively styled product. Um, it just like feels really quite clumpy. I've said this before, but it's a bit like a sort of um, Sonic the Hedgehog sort of thing. So you are starting to get these PC textured pieces. We want the texture, but we don't want PC. Versus the Blue Mom product, which is a lot smoother in the styling. And yes, it is responsive and you can get that huge volume that you get with a 40, but it's, um, it's less aggressive. You know, you, you do have the option of having your hair down. You do have the option of having it look smooth, but with a built-in texture. Um, and actually, I quite like it. I'm gonna tell you, I actually have it in my hair right now. Um, and I think it's pretty good in styling. So the full three points for styling go to Bloomon, then into what I think is the most important category, and that's finish. Really, how does the hair look? How is it gonna look throughout the day? I'm putting them side by side. You can see the hair has volume. The hair definitely has texture, but the Blue Man texture is texture that I want. It's texture that I have placed there. I've decided where I want the movement. I've decided where I want the volume. And the 40 product is, um, I, I don't like the texture in this. I don't like the finish. I think it looks um, weighted, even using a tiny bit of product. I've used a tiny bit, I've used a lot. I've warmed it up to a, a, the nth degree. I've tried everything with this product. It just really, I don't think is up to it in terms of the finish, in terms of the styling. And um, I mean, you can see here, the sort of sticky out bits at the back, I just don't enjoy it. So the full five points for finish go to four jokes. Bloom on. Taking a look at hold, I have tried these products, actually both without hairspray. I'm, I'm using a lot less hairspray these days because I want a bit more uh, manageable, movable, natural looking hair. And the hold for each is good. And um, one thing I would say is, uh, with my sort of hair products and how I use them, I will layer products, I will always layer because that's the best way of styling, but it's also the way to get the best hold for you. And with the Bloom On product, when you layer it, you are getting that increased hold and you're getting something which is still touchable throughout the day and it's great. I, I really enjoy using it. With the 40 um, clay, I, I'm just trying to be really careful here with what I say, I don't want to be a dick. Um, but, maybe I will. But with this one, you, you actually can't layer it because even the tiniest bit of product really doesn't feel like it, um, it goes throughout the full length of the hair. It feels like it gets stuck. And the hold is fantastic. The hold is uh, super good. It's like a super glue in your hair. Your hair will stay up all day. It's not going to move. Um, so actually, the, the full four points for hold go to 40 series texture clay, brackets for all the wrong reasons. Washability, how easy is it to remove from your hair? Both pretty easy, both feel good when it's out of your hair. Hallelujah. Um, but one is just slightly easier. And that is Blue Mons Cavalier Clay. Into price and value, I always say this, but it comes down to where you live, posting your packaging, import taxes, all that good stuff. Um, but the best prices online, constantly updated from me, are on manfromself.com forward slash products. I will link it up there. Really what we do is sort of search the internet and find the best prices and update that. So you will find the best prices there. Now, the Bloom On product is slightly smaller. I wanna say, yeah, 2.5 ounces, and it's $21.50 on their official site. The 40 series texture clay is slightly larger at a 3.4 ounces, and this is $21. So actually slightly cheaper and slightly larger. Um, if you were loving that product, then that is better value. Uh, if you're not loving it, then really the value isn't there because value is where your expectation meets your reality. But we're gonna stick to the facts. So the value and um, price, really the price points go to 40. So the verdict is in with eight points, it is a 40 series texture clay, but with 13 glorious brand battle points, it is Blue Mons Cavalier Clay. Well done, Team Blue Man. Uh, a gorgeous win for you. Um, I 
really enjoy brand battles like this because we really get to go beneath the bonnet of these machines and see what they do and don't. I wanted to also do this one because I get so many questions from guys who love YouTuber products about does this one work like this? Does this one not do this? And I think if you're into sort of YouTube creator products, you're probably kind of into both of them and you are intrigued. This is a fair win. This is my favorite one from the Bloomon team. Actually, I've said that before on the site and I actually do like it. You know, I've got it in my hair now. I think it is responsive. I think it does well. I like the texture. This product 40, I think is disappointing. And I think it's disappointing because I know how much work Alex has put into this. Um, I know that when he came across, it must have been about two years ago to London, I had asked him and he said, yeah, I'm working through formulations. I've tried out loads of different things. So I'm disappointed because the product hasn't met my expectations. And I also just think it's a shame. Um, but I know so many people will love this and I know so many people will support Alex in whatever he does. Um, I'm excited to try your next products, but please make them better than this. That's all I'm saying. Um, so the battle of the YouTubers, it's very much Blue Mon's world at the moment. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Make sure you tell me if you like these things, like hit like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Um, and also keep your suggestions coming. Also the newsletter, I need to push this harder. The newsletter, we have got so much going on. Um, we kind of tell you what's on the site, the videos coming up, some sneak previews, sometimes some competitions and stuff. So subscribe to that, sign up to that. The button will be there and also there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.